Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. I thought I'd roll a couple of topics into a single video today, starting with some con possible confusion over Squadron 42's release date. Michael Graf from GameStar has talked about Squadron 42 um, being released in 2017. Some people think mid-2017. Later, it seems that it may have been a misunderstanding and that the interview that Michael was having with Chris was referring to Star Citizen rather than um, the single player Squadron 42 campaign. But let me read you a English from German translation of the video and um, that was um, talking about Star Citizen that Michael had done. Uh, and I have taken this from Fabulous Goat's Reddit post where he's translated that. I'll link in the description below. There is a little bit lost in translation. My German is really bad, but... After reading this and then watching the video, I kind of got a little bit more gist of what was going on. Uh, and I think that a little tiny bit lost in translation could have possibly been where this confusion could have arisen. But I do think it's just a, a, a misunderstanding of what Chris said. Though, we'll talk more about that in a second. Time and again, GameStar readers ask me if Star Citizen will become a good game. And I don't know. I can only hope. What Chris Roberts is building here gets more impressive with every alpha version and every gameplay presentation. However, it's still light years away from a fully functioning online game. As the funding grows, so do the ambitions of the game, and in turn the challenges for Roberts and his team, who still have a lot of work ahead of them. I also believe that some players are creating a wrong picture of Star Citizen for themselves. It has more of an online role-playing game element than one would think. One has to experience the universe together with other players to make their own goals and stories. You have to walk across a space station for some time, or you'll have to wait for the co-pilot that's talking to a contact before you go on a mission. Star Citizen for me is about me and my friends being able to immerse ourselves into our roles, be it pirate, trader, mercenary, explorer, or whatever. Those who want a classic short space sim should focus on Squadron 42. The solo campaign is, in a way, Chris Roberts' first trial. It will prove if the game mechanics work and if the engine holds together. And maybe it will be released next year. At least Chris Roberts said he hopes it will. So, I'm breaking character for a second here to talk about that. That's basically the contentious point there that a lot of people are, oh, so Squadron 42 is going to be released in 2017. And a lot of us do think it will be released early 2017. But again, we'll talk more about that in a second and we'll go back into our role. Some backers I've talked to are disappointed by the slow progress and I can understand that. Many more, however, are as excited as they were on the first day. More so, some of them. Already they're forging plans with what they want to do in the universe, even though it's literally in the stars when this universe will start. Not even Chris Roberts can say at this point. But this excitement I can understand, as well because Star Citizen is exactly what I wrote in my previous preview in 2012. Starship pornography. I just love the detailed ships and their sharp textures and robot voices. I love that we can get our hands on our ships as a pilot and climb up the cockpit and ladder. That is is why I will play the Persistent Universe Alpha. Even though you can't do much there yet, it's a small first sneak peek into the online universe that makes it my dream. I dream of how I will experience this online universe with thousands of other pilots whose freighters I will blow away underneath their asses with my pirate hunter. I can also salute to what Chris Roberts and his team have managed to do on the technical side, from the physics system to 64-bit precision. And I'm excited to be able to land on planets and do so with their rudimentary professions as well in 3.0 Alpha at the end of the year, if it will be released. You never know with Star Citizen. However, I can recommend nobody invest money into this game at the moment. That decision is for everyone themselves. Money that flows into Star Citizen has to be clear that it flows into a dream, which I hope becomes true, but I can't say it will for sure. So that's what Michael Graf thought. Um, so yeah, that was a rough translation of what was said. Cautiously optimistic, and I think that's fine. I think that was a, quite a fair piece from someone that doesn't necessarily know exactly where the game's going to go. So why is it important at all what was said? Well, at CitizenCon 2015, we were all shown a trailer um, for Squadron 42 that suggested, or actually stated, a 2016 release for Squadron 42. 
Now, CIG have not retracted that claim, but they haven't reconfirmed it either. A lot of us, including myself in the community, think that it will be an early 2017 release. Kind of like mid to the end of March kind of thing. There's also a possibility that we'll get the first part of the game in 2016 and then the rest in 2017 as sort of like a prelude or uh, a showcase of what can be done. The truth is we're going to have to wait until the 9th of October for CitizenCon to know for sure. We should get a solid time frame then, a solid timeline and hopefully an actual release date. After some of the issues that No Man's Sky had at its release, I'm fine with an early 2017 release, as long as it's done right. And that's what this game needs to be done. It needs to be done right. That's why there's no publisher, why it's self-publishing. We want to get a game that is literally all our dreams for a space game. And some people are clearly going to overhype it. Uh, I've probably overhyped it to myself. I apologise if I overhyped it to you. But I do think it's going to be pretty awesome. And I'm having a load of fun in the mini persistent universe now. Single player games aren't normally my thing, but I'm really looking forward to Squadron 42. Partly because it ties into the MMO universe though. But anyway, so make up your own decision on that. But I would wait until CitizenCon 2016, 9th of October, for that live stream to find out more. But it looks like that, that was just a misunderstanding um, when they were talking about that. I'm not saying it's untrue, but I am saying that when... Uh, Michael Graf talked about uh, and maybe it will be released next year at least Chris Roberts says he hopes it will um, that that might have been referring to uh, Star Citizen rather than Squadron 42 and I do think that was the case but anyway we'll have to wait and see also I'm planning to start streaming on Tuesdays at 1pm CST which is literally tomorrow at the time of recording um, it should be Star Citizen all the time I'll I, I don't know how it's going to turn out I don't know if I'm going to be good at streaming or bad at streaming. I've already had, always had a little fear of streaming. Um, I appear on other people's streams because I don't have to be in charge. I don't have to do anything. I just have to talk. I'm good at talking. Um, but we'll see. We'll see you tomorrow. Please join me. Um, and yeah, we'll talk. And we'll talk about Star Citizen. And we'll play Star Citizen. And you can ask me questions and that sort of stuff. So at some point, I'm going to be talking about my gaming chair, which cost me £60 and is awesome. Like, is really awesome. It's it's comparable to like the £200, $300 gaming chairs that you can see. And I'll talk more about that later. It's orange and white and grey. And it's the best. Uh, I've also moved over to 1440p um, for my videos uh, at 60 frames. I, I think they look a lot better. Um, I'm going to pretty much produce everything in 1440p now. And I'll probably talk about 1440p gaming and getting the most out of your computer. Because um, 1080p is fine, especially for lower end systems. Like if you're buying a, a 1060 for like $200 kind of graphics card. That card is great. And a 3 gig version can do you for 1080p. A 6 gig version might be able to do you for 1440p. Based on what kind of um, what kind of gaming experience that you want. But anyway, I'll talk more about that later. Please don't forget that if you comment on any of my videos. You have a chance to win that budget gaming PC I did a while ago. Um, or um, a uh, Arco MPUV. Um, based on where you live in the world, I can't send it everywhere. So the MPUV is the kind of a, I'm sorry, but have a have a ship instead kind of prize. I would like to know what you're looking forward to in Star Citizen. Uh, suggestions for videos, um, just anything really. Just talk to me about Star Citizen or my channel, whatever. It's all super appreciated. Any feedback I get. Um, thank you so much to my Patreons. You guys have been super awesome recently. Haven't given you much uh, at the moment, but I'm going to start giving my Patreons more things uh, and helping them out as much as they help me out, hopefully. Um, tomorrow, start streaming, 1pm CEST. Please tune into that um, for some, I don't know, random stuff. We'll see what happens. I haven't set up anything properly. I hope it works okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it genuinely does help me. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the verse.